Hello Disney fans, my name is Haley. Today we're doing a very requested video, my Disney book collection that is super heavy. I never knew really how I was gonna do this video because uh, I haven't fully read all of these books so I can't really give like full recommendations on my entire Disney book collection but I can recommend the ones that I have read before. So if you have any Disney book recommendations feel free to leave them in the comments for all of us to go through, look through, and enjoy if you are also looking for a Disney book to read. I personally love all of the Disney facts books, anything about Disney history. I have a lot of those to share with you. Also some story ones as well. I don't know the exact number of Disney books in my collection because there are probably many more packed away in some of my childhood bins of actual Disney stories. These are just the ones that I showed a little bit on my shelf in my closet uh, in my most recent room cleaning video, which I can have linked down below where I showed a little preview and kind of where I keep all of these books I'm going to show you today. Some of these are some magazines that I have, but there are definitely some others throughout my room or in other places that I just won't get to show you today. But there's definitely a lot to look at, so please subscribe down below so you don't miss any more collection videos and let's just get started. So I have some of the books kind of sorted in order. I don't really have them sorted by like genre or anything because they're all very similar to each other. They're just Disney books that I own. These two are from Hallmark probably a few years ago. I don't think they still have them, but these are very, very quick reads. These are quote books and I have read through these before. I would recommend these. Um, again, they're not something you can like really like read, read. If you're just looking for like some inspiration, they are just very, very simple Walt Disney quotes, movie quotes. You know, this is just a cute book that you can like set up somewhere and have like a page open and it would just like look super cute. This is more of like a little like display put on a shelf just Disney inspiration book. And this one is called Wit and Wisdom of Disney. It's a really cute cover, very, very simple art. And it just goes through a lot of very famous Disney quotes. So that is a really like nice one to have. Just a cute little thing. Again, it's not super like informational unless you're trying to maybe memorize some Disney quotes. The other one is pretty similar. This is Pixar Guide to Life. So this one is very, very similar. Another cool one to maybe even set up on a shelf because they are themed very, very nicely and they just contain some of Pixar's like quotes to live by. You could say like this sitting up on a shelf and every once in a while you flip it because it is like two page art would look really, really neat. There's just so many great pictures in all of these books. So many, again, inspirational quotes, very nice things to just look at every once in a while. Another very quick read I kind of have in this little pile here is Secrets of Walt Disney World. If you're a fan of any sort of like quick facts book, this is a super quick read. Um, maybe for like younger kids, if you're first getting into Disney history, this is a really, really cool one to have. It is a hard cover book. As you can see, I have read through it. I've bookmarked some pages that I really enjoyed facts about. And I've set this book aside and I am setting many of these books aside to read before the 50th of Walt Disney World, just to maybe gather some more history that I may not have learned before or that I just haven't read about in a while. So this one is separated really, really nicely. It's very simple, easy to follow. You can see the bright, bold pages and it even has some timelines on here, which I just really enjoy. So it's just super easy to read and follow. Like there's food fun facts, for example, 1 million pounds of watermelon sold at the Walt Disney World Resort each year, 75 million Cokes. It's just super, super interesting. So it goes through not only the whole resort, but also each park individually. It also lists here, you can probably see this book is a little bit older now, but it lists the five times that the Magic Kingdom Park closed or generally Walt Disney World Resort closed. So they'll have to add um, the pandemic to that as well. Uh, the longest time it has ever been closed. Little fun fact for you. So not going to go super in depth like this for all of the books, but this one I personally recommend just because it's very colorful and you can get a lot of like quick facts out of it and it's just good for like any age versus more of these ones I'll get into over here. Now this one, um, we're going to skip for a second. <laughs> these are the longer 
facts, hidden magic books that would take a little bit longer to read. So if you are just looking for just some general Disney facts, or you're just like you're just getting into it, you've been to Disney a few times and you enjoy the parks, this would be a great, great one. But if you're like, I need to know everything, um, these books are kind of a part of the series. So this is the first one that I got. This one was trivia. I thought it'd be run to, fun to maybe read like in the car or on the plane or something on the way. And as you can see, these are a lot more detailed. Now, if you're looking for like pandemic facts and how they've been closed and things like that, some of these answers may now be different because they are a few years older. But a lot of these are mainly just about some of the different attractions, which are really, really interesting to know. So it goes through all the questions here and all the answers are in the back. So this one's definitely like a longer read, probably more fun to do with friends or family than just reading on your own compared to these ones. And I have read through most of this one. This is the second edition, which I have not actually gotten to yet. But I remember really enjoying this first one. I've read many times through school just because I thought it was really, really fun. I like the cover, the simplicity of it. And as you kind of flip through here, this one is more of like a reading. You can see here it's sectioned off by Adventureland and it's just a bunch of like facts about Adventureland. And it goes into their Tomorrowland. Like each... Every few pages it just goes on like the different years and it goes through all four parks. So this one's definitely more of like a read versus like a fun like trivia kind of game that you could do. So I would definitely recommend these two. I know this one's probably very similar to the one I just showed because this is the second one in the series. So this probably goes even more in depth adding some newer things to it as well. And there's also little fun facts mentioned throughout which I don't know enjoy these very very much so I'd recommend for sure those these facts ones I just think they're very easy to read and I enjoy like the history and stuff so that's just my personal preferences now these ones are a little bit more story like this happy place living the Disney parks life for this book the author Scott actually went and interviewed some people who have let Disney parks take over their lives in a healthy way. So it's just mainly about Disney fans and how this has become such a happy place and kind of their stories, which I think is very, very cool because that's something that I have definitely done as well. And just how like the parks have like affected so many people and brought, just brought so much happiness and it goes through all of their different... I don't know, story. So I think that was a really, really good one, even though I did not get to finish it yet. I read the first few chapters and enjoyed it. So that's definitely one I'm setting aside to take a closer look at. Now, these next two I know are very, very popular. I think I just started them like too late just because they're more like story based. I actually used one of these. Like I had to use like you could pick a book in school and I picked this one because it actually had like a plot. It wasn't just facts, even though there are some facts like mixed in. And this is about a group of friends who get stuck in the Magic Kingdom and they need to find their way out. Maleficent is holding them kind of like captive in here. And I just never really, really got into it. I think I just kind of read it too late. I wasn't such a big fan of the storyline and I just wanted more of like the history and stuff. I'm not a huge book person. I probably should have mentioned that. I'm really not at all. I don't really like to read. If I'm going to read something, I'd rather like try to like learn something from it than just read a story. I'd rather watch a movie and hear the story. That's just my personal preference opinion. So if you enjoy reading stories though, I'm sure you would absolutely love these. There are quite a few in the series. I did pick up the second one if I choose to get back into it one day, but I have not even finished the first one. It just wasn't something I could really get into and I preferred reading more of the fact things like the ones I just shared. Now some other reads for like some younger kids or even now like I enjoy reading these. They're super super quick but these are definitely for the um, like lower reading levels. There's lots of great Disney ones out there. I personally have used the Who Was Walt Disney ones for some projects in the past. There are some shorter ones and a little bit longer ones and it just goes through his life and they're pretty identical but I just enjoy reading about that and there are also ones about Walt Disney World so there's Where is Walt Disney World which is a really cool one has some really nice art to it and you can see some pretty like simple text to it so this is a great one if you're planning maybe your first trip and you have kids and this would be a really fun one to read before that. This other one is The Mystery of Walt Disney World and I actually read this one all the way through many years ago and I think I enjoyed this storyline a little bit better just because 
was a little bit more simpler. Um, I'm not really one to read super long books, so this one was pretty great, but it was kind of along the lines of the Kingdom Keepers series. Now these next few I'm going to show you are some magazines that I have. I'm just going to kind of show them real quick. Now I haven't read all these in full either because they are just magazines. I've of course looked at like the main portions that they advertise, but I haven't gone through them in full. So there's a few of those here I'll get through uh, to throughout the stack. Also some drawing books for sure are included it, as well in my collection, but I'm not really going to go over those today. I just don't think flipping through a coloring book might be as interesting, but I do have some of those as well. Now for some more of the park history uh, that I personally enjoy. Now this is another one I have set aside to read before the 50th because this one was actually from before there were four parks. There were only two. So that is very, very neat to me. I love looking at all these old pictures and just seeing like the stats you could say from then of, of what it was like. I just think it's so, so very interesting seeing what it was like. Like look at the logos right there. I think it's so very interesting, so very beautiful getting to learn about all of these things and especially just reading like an old book. I don't know why it's just about this kind of stuff. It just it has such a vibe to it. Just like this next one here, Walt Disney World Resort, A Magical Year by Year Journey. So this one is from 1998. Pretty thick. It almost feels like a yearbook. That's literally what it feels like, a school yearbook. And wow, like what? How cool. This looks, there's the Castle Cake 25th anniversary. So it goes through mainly a lot of pictures of maybe some of the different attractions or parks or characters and just gives a little description of each of those things. And there's also a little dated year timeline there on the bottom as well. So this is a really like fun, like retro-y style of book. And it is, like I showed, pretty thick, but as you can see, it's mainly all pictures. So this is not one you could probably pick up but maybe one that you may have um, in your collection. Now, one that I have both received and have personally collected, enjoy looking at this. This is the Walt Disney World. Again, another one that feels like a yearbook. And this is once again before Studios and Animal Kingdom. So this was about 1982 rough time frame, a little bit after that, before 89 whenever studios open. As you can see, more pictures here. And now some of the information in these books is probably very similar, but just seeing all of these different pictures, all the different memories and history, and it's just so, so very interesting to me. And I don't know. What a good time. And this one also goes through all the different lands too, because they had more time in these books to go over each land because there were only few and now there are so so many so just i don't know it's very very interesting to me and i know i'm going to keep repeating that so i apologize this one is since the world began the first 25 years of walt disney world so this one for sure i plan to read before the 50th yes 100 percent, because i would love to know about the first 25 years of walt disney world because i was not around at that time so i enjoy getting to kind of read all this stuff to catch up to what I know and like look at that the layout now there's a walkway here like seeing what it was then what it is now and who knows what the future of it will be this one also goes through a lot more of the resorts and overall experience on your stay so that is pretty pretty neat to love hearing about all the resorts I think they're so very beautiful also in this big stack here I'm just going to hold up all of the D23 books that I have gotten over the years. I've been a D23 gold member for quite a few years and I do have to say I have not read, I don't think one of these in full. I have definitely flipped through, read the quick things that have interest me, but I just have personally not had time to read these every single time they come around. So they come out like every three months or so, just kind of highlighting the things that are currently going on in the Disney world, company, all of those things. This one's pretty cool. 50 year archive anniversary. Like these have such great pictures of them. If you are interested in D23 becoming like a gold member, I personally recommend it. I think it's, it's cool to get these every few months and just be able to have all these pictures and things to read. Like look at all this cool merch in this particular book. 
and there's like new issues as you can see all the time every three months and just the art style just getting to catch up on like what's new what's been going on some of these will feature different imagineers you can read about different artists animators it's just so very interesting this one's from the opening of shanghai disney so as you collect them over the years pretty cool this one's basically all about shanghai which would be cool to read one day hopefully when i get to visit that park about disney broadway like each one is like based around a certain this one pandora opened it's just such cool art like i just i love it love it this one's from 2018 and this one's, I believe, all about Mickey's birthday. So, a bunch of those here. These are my newest ones. This one, I think, is my favorite so far, even though I've only flipped through it just a little bit. This one's about Disneyland's 65th anniversary. I really hope... They probably will re release a Walt Disney World 50th anniversary one. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. This is the newest, newest one. But that is one I got prior. On Soul. This one's from the winter time. Just so so neat as you can see there are many many there i don't think i could ever go back and read through each and every one of them but definitely really really cool stuff to look at in those books this is another art book art of disney from mickey mouse to the magic kingdom this is the biggest book that i have it is so so very heavy and of course i have not read all of these pages i don't think i could ever read all these pages but i would love love to it is pretty big text though so maybe I could, over the years, read a few pages every once in a while. But this goes from the very, very beginning, you can see Oswald there, all the way up to there's concept art, all of that, good, good time. And there is actually a smaller version of this book that I received as well. Here it is from the mail. So some of these you may be able to still find, possibly somewhere out there but just great art so very interesting <laughs> as you can see I'm kind of making a mess of stuff this one looks so very cool this is one that found in the family from the 25th don't really know specifically where it was from it's probably from when one of my family members went around this time but like super crazy like pictures and art and just what it was like then. Very, very cool. I just cannot wait to see the 50th stuff. Here's some more Life magazines. I know they release these pretty frequently now. Some Disney ones every once in a while. There will probably be a 50th one of these too. They did a few for Mickey's 90th or Walt Disney Company's 100th is coming up kind of soon as well. So that will be definitely something. I also have a few of these magazines called The E-Ticket and they're about specific Disney park attractions. Those are very, very neat. Some more art-like books. I keep some of the advertisements from two different places, like this is Ethan and Alan when they did the Disney collection. So some of those are mixed in here throughout. There's also a bunch of comics too, and those are themed to Mickey Mouse. There's also some Roger Rabbit ones I have in my stack of books as well, I'm, again, I'm not trying to go through these super detailed because there's not like a lot I can say about each of them. But if you're just looking for some things, you might be able to find some of these on Amazon, but some of them are older. Definitely the ones I mentioned at the beginning are still out there, but these kind of older park ones are probably not. This one's lots of Walt Disney. I'm very excited to take a closer look into this one. That's one I received pretty recently as well. And this last set I thought was very, very interesting. I wish that the park still kind of did stuff like this. This is a five book souvenir set and this is about each park. There is a little book about each park. You can see how kind of like old the design of the book is and it goes through once again all the lands, kind of some descriptions on the attractions, some little facts, and there is one for each and every park. And they're just little souvenir books you could take home, take with you, read before your next visit. And I don't know, just what a good time. Like, I feel like these kind of things they don't really have around anymore. And they're just very, very interesting to me. So that's just about 
um, all I have to share today. I didn't want it to be too boring to like show all of those, but hopefully there were some good recommendations there for you. So thank you all so much again for watching this video. I know it was probably a little bit long, maybe not super, super interesting, but I hope it was helpful for you. Again, if you have any Disney book recommendations, feel free to come down below in the comments. I'd love to hear what other Disney stories or books that you enjoy that maybe I can check out as well. So I hope you all have a wonderful day and remember to do what you love and do what makes you happy and I will see you all next time. Bye!